Hey everybody, so I want to give you an update on the greenhouse. This is what we've done so far. I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to walk and talk. I'll walk you around the greenhouse and then we'll go inside. So, if you've been keeping up, it was just a frame before what we've done. I've gone and framed the bottom all the way around it. Went with wood here and then went with wiggle wire. Wiggle wire all the way around it. You can see we've got a sunshade, the solar panel. I've got hay stuck in it right now. It's 50 degrees here right now. But uh, I've got a solar radiator fan. I went with a car radiator fan and wired it directly to the solar panel. I've got a roll up here for a vent. There's going to be another one that I've got to order for this side. That way I can get more ventilation in it. You can't see it. We'll go inside and you'll see it. I've got fencing up here to keep rabbits out then on the back side so walk-in cooler door and now I've got a wind brace all this is double wall stainless a little overkill but hey I don't want it burning down and then you can see where I built frames and then I got wiggle wire for it I'll turn the camera real quick we've expanded the garden this year so this is our onion bed and these are seed potatoes that I just had left over didn't want to throw them away so I built the bed here we'll go over here real quick this is all potatoes and this is all prep for May 15th will be our plant day got onions here garlic and onions over here there were winter onions so this is ready to go. We'll keep walking to the greenhouse. So left this area open here, there's gonna be a storage building to go here that's gonna be uh, half walking cooler and half processing for vegetables and uh, game meat and livestock. So this will be another vent that'll be opened up. You can see I got the conduit ready for the vent. So it's 50 degrees out here, and we'll go inside. And you can see, we'll get the thermo go up to the thermometer. 80 degrees, can't beat it. So this is what I've done here. I've got a potting bench here. You can see, I'll move this bag, I've got slats, and underneath the slats, is a concrete tray so when we're doing the potting the dirt falls in there and I can recycle the dirt and reuse it again I've got these trays they've got water in them the water wicks up to the plant that way you don't overwater it these are all ready to go pepper eggplant got some cabbage cucumbers and here's some stuff I started from seed got zucchini acorn squash and then I found a trick here. I got this overhanging a little bit for the wood stove. Heat hits the bottom of that tray and warms the, bed, the dirt up and the seeds take off. So this is the wood stove. It worked out really good. I've got some tin up here for a heat shield for the plastic. Went with gravel because I didn't want to pour up much concrete. Wetted down the gravel and just stomped it in. It's almost like concrete now. So this has worked out real good. Got tomato plants, cherry tomato plants. Then I've got backup peat on propane. Uh, I'm not done with it. I've got, I'm waiting on some 100 gallon, 100 pounder propane tanks. Once they come in, I'll have a line going outside and the tanks will be outside. So here's something. You see these stands that I've built and there's Lowe's bucket. You're like, what's going on there? Well. I've got irrigation going through here, going to these valves, and there's the bucket. It takes about three days to empty that thing out. Slow, slow drip, heating each plant. And here I've got a watering station. I'll show you how it works. So when we haul water, take this, come over here. When you pour water in this bucket and it splashes everywhere, the water runs down 
and goes in that bucket. We don't waste any water here. So then I've got strawberry plants growing in the gutter. And it's worked out really, really well. As you can see, we're getting strawberries. Then I've got basil on the top, more strawberries here. These tanks are full of water. They help keep the greenhouse warm. They'll heat up during the day and then dissipate the heat at night. And uh, this has worked out really well. I've got a few more things to do. You can see the wire hanging down here. I'm gonna go with RV lights. And then this panel board you see over here, I'm gonna mount all the solar components on it. And uh, I'll have the solar panels outside. I'm gonna use the old Harbor Freight panels for it. Might as well put those to use. So the raised beds has worked really good. I can't wait for this winter. But the watering system's worked out real good. You can, now you're free. You're not a slave to keep water in these things. And it's worked out really, really well. This board here, I built for a snow brace, but it's also been great for mounting stuff. Like you can see the tools and then I got the heater on it. Real proud of those stands though. I came up with that on my own. And there's the potting bench. You can see I nailed down slats for it. I've got float trays potting soil, and then the stuff you see over here, those are soaker hoses that we're gonna use out in the garden. Cardboard box mess you see right now, that's all the solar components. And these water bottles you see on the ground, there's a reason for that. <clears throat> I've been saving those. Stick these in the ground, I got the valve right there. And it's a slow drip for the plants, you can see how healthy they are. I did lose this one to frost. It, before we got heat in here, it got real cold in here one night, but the basil seems to be recovering. But that's it. There's our greenhouse. First time ever building one, never done it before. There's some of that wiring hanging down, but I'm real proud of it. This is all, all in my head and got it going. And uh, I like the hay on the ground. I've seen people put gravel down. I'm not doing that. I don't, I don't want that aggravation. I like it just the way it is. It's easy on the feet too. And I've got dirt here ready to go for the next project. So uh, anyway, that's the greenhouse. Appreciate you watching. And uh, it's good that you're here and you're hanging out with me. And appreciate you wanting to look at the greenhouse. Take care and God bless.